Hi, this is Tech with Costa, and I'm sharing my engineering journey. Then, Jupyter Notebook on browser with server. If you really want to run a Jupyter Notebook on browser with a server, do the following. With the proper Conda environment activated, install Jupyter package. So let's copy this. Let's go to terminal. I have the proper Conda environment activated. So I want to install Jupyter package inside this Conda environment. Just wait. And now we have Jupyter installed. Okay. Then I want to initialize the Jupyter server by typing Jupyter Notebook on the terminal. So Jupyter Notebook. And now this terminal is dedicated to handling this Jupyter server. And automatically a port is being forwarded, the port number 8888, so we can access this Jupyter server on the browser. If we click open in browser, okay, we can check Jupyter server. We can also run local host 8888 and you see the same thing, okay? So next step, we need a token. To do that, we need to create a new terminal and we need to execute Jupyter server list to check the servers, Jupyter servers we are running. Then we copy the token here after the equal sign. We paste the token here. We define a password, log in and set new passwords. Now we can double click the Jupyter notebook and boom, we have the same thing on the browser. We can, for example, clear outputs of all cells and we can run each one again. We can also print name if we want and it's Diogo underscore Costa. If we control S to save the file or if we click here to save it, then we can close this and this. We can go back to the VS Code instance and the same file now is updated within VS Code because it's the same file we just edited. Okay, good luck. Peace.